What's going on, everyone? It's Lee Catterson here with episode 6 of season 4 for Orphan Black, which is called The Scandal of Altruism. So, yeah, we had a really, really fun time last time out discovering Brightborn, didn't we? It was, you know, nothing wrong happened, did it? No. Um, yeah, we had a real, real deep insight, of course, in Neo Lucian's Create a Better Human Evolution. Uh, in the last episode with, you know, the Brightborn experimentations, of course, uh, testing out the embryos, them being, you know, born into the world with these defects, of course, and, um, you know, they can then study and test out uh, any, you know, cures so they can, you know, uh, be like Evie Chow, I guess, like, uh, since she uh, talked about having that, um, you know, issue, and then that got fixed, so, um, yeah, it was really, really horrific stuff, and I can't wait to see how things go from there, considering Cosima looks like she made a deal with the devil, I guess, uh, given by her comments uh, with that pool scene with Ira. Yeah. Um, but no, it was just a really, really great episode, and I've just... I don't know, this season has just been an absolute blast for me. Uh, we've, you know, discovered all kinds of horror. It, it, I don't know why. It feels kind of... I don't know. In a sense, it has some kind of um, season one intertwined with season two, in a sense. So, I don't know. It's like if season one and season two ha uh, had a baby. Usually, that would be season three, but it's season four, so yeah. Um, no, I just feel like there has been a really, really, you know, um, I don't know, great feel with this season. It's just been really, really more investing than, you know, the norm, because I've said it a bunch of times, like, season three, if I really, really enjoyed, but I do feel this is on a whole new level, so, and I say that as we're at the halfway point, uh, officially, of Season 4, so, with that said, let's uh, continue on to the second half of Season 4 of Open Black, let's go. Oh, yeah. That was clumsy. <laughs> uh, yes, never mind, I'll just go find some place to wash up. Yeah. Beth be like, oh dear, that was really unfortunate. Oh, here we go. I'm totally testing on human beings. Like, I'm a game <laughs> Oh, just like, okay. Like, okay. Is, is like Let's... too far. Do you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> I love this. No, it doesn't. Does the Lita mean anything to you? <laughs> yeah, it's just. Yeah, I love their eyeliner. Oh, God's sake. Christ, Acosta. Actually, I'm uh, a Libra. The eye, <laughs> my hey, I am heart. too. From what? Dobermans? See, I knew there was something that I could see in you, Hera. Yeah, Sarah, please sit. Before we discuss Kendall, I want to know what this thing's doing to me. The devices do different things for different subjects. For instance, like. you mentioned Aldous Leakey. He had one treating a genetic predisposition for Alzheimer's. Oh, what's oh doing? damn! It's making you sick. She's closer to it than anyone. I think that her insights will be valuable. You're not the first leader to make it this far, you know? What are we talking about, Ira? Oh, oh! <laughs> is it? Is this? Is this the middle finger to? Yeah, this is. Your sisters will wither on the vine, and I cannot bear them. Oh. I'm com Close your eyes. I'm complexed. I don't know what to feel. <laughs> so she gets up and then bang. I'm no kidding. That would create a paradox, of course. And we're not dealing with that. We've already got enough complicated things going on in all for black at the minute, but Oh, I don't know how to feel I mean We knew Beth was in deep but trying to kill Susan Duncan. Mm. So what stopped her? Look at her. She might have seen how sincere she was. I mean, that's what the thing. I, I, she's sincere about looking after the, the leaders. Right through it. No, not her. Why not? I can still taste your partner's fingers in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't I'm be creepy saying. paramedics. Got your back. And you can trust Kasima more than, you know, creepy paramedics that were you ugh, can watch sinister. Scott work from there. <sighs> Take a seat. This is... 
gonna say this is a really, really Thank you. tough thing to I process, like this time. deal. Last needle, I promise. But I guess it's the best for both situations. Sarah gets you the butt out. Your biology is so unique, We're stuck closer you know? to the cure. Just might be okay. Okay, we plug the leak. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, yes. it's okay Sarah. Sarah. Mm. Just think of happy days. Okay. Unicorns. Here we go. Don't move. Don't move. It's tearing. Now or never. Don't move. Careful. You know, this is yes. not really. If I was Sarah, I would not be comforted. At least that's done. You're getting what you want, aren't you? I'd spit, but she'd probably bottle it. <laughs> wow. What's happening? He's out. I'm coming. Get Kendall on the move. Okay. He's going to go talk about though. It's that like a bad thing, I guess. As soon as Susan has the songs. Okay. God, you're that guy who stole my wallet right before I was kidnapped. Ah, uh, she you. Oh, yeah. Um, with Crystal, <laughs> this is, um, Inspector Dawkins. She Dawkins. you. From the yard. What From the yard. <laughs> Scotland Yard? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I love it. He's a cop. From London. You said Scotland. Okay. Well, <laughs> as far as that's going to go. That I wasn't alone. That's right, darling. I just love I this. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 God. Idea. Whoa, what is that? Please, oh, your no. mind. Benjamin, you saw the smoke. You just destroyed yourself, you stupid girl. Sarah, you want nah. to know what you're doing? Kendall's watch not answering. Watch a cigarette and a pool of blood. outer source from the uh, Oh, I smacked this French doctor at the diet. I just keep injuring people everywhere I go. I'm so sorry. Uh, Dr. Delphine Cormier. Why do you know her? Is she oh, oh! Well, she's a friend of ours. What can you tell us about her? Especially with the fact that she's M.I.A. So um, I saw her get shot. Ah! Uh, Call nine one one. I think it's all the talk of him not being able to survive. Benjamin. Okay. Where's Kendall? Yeah. So who took Kendall? Then again, I see here is a nice innocent soul, but you just couldn't just handle the fact that you know there's a cure for the leaders and not for him. He's just got to wither and die. Who? Oh, this so creepy how are we doing bastard! Back here? You oh, my shit. That's enough. See, she's a bit distressed, but it, I do. I mean, we now know oh. it, it must be some kind of a deviation from Susan. Well, how is that possible? Your system's offline. It had to be introduced on the hard drive from Brightboard. Oh, shit. So, so they're wiping their day. What? That did this doesn't care about Kendall's genome. They just want Leader destroyed. Yeah, so she can't continue any research. So the they can You, you're a bitch. You are a complete Hello. bitch. You should have stayed hidden. I take it. This is the one who has you all. And that's why. And that's what, yeah. This is a deviation from Susan. The trigger right now. You want ended. You want to save the people that you love. Use that gun on yourself. Oh, no. Do you think I'm afraid to die? You are... Do you think I'm scared of anything right now? That's where the blood came from. Holy shit, Evie. Why are you doing this? What a bitch. Kendall, what do we do? No tears, Cosima. These shites are worth the salt. <laughs> Wow, Kendall. Catch your own. She's done right. Always. Oh my God. And tell your sisters. I'm proud to have been part of them all. Shit. Oh my God. Oh, you.
you Delphine Cormier was shot dead at the Diet Arcade. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh. Tell Susan the original's dead. Tell Sarah it's over. <laughs> or get died for nothing. I fucking hate you. I've got no words. This bitch could go choke on a fucking cactus. I wish Beth would fucking sh Oh shit! Come on! I wish Beth did the Don't fucking make job. Come. Don't make my sisters die for what I know. They've done it before. What's your play, Beth? Oh. And this is going to drive it to suicide, isn't it? This is a perfect deal for Susan at the end of the day, wasn't it? But Evie had to be a bitch. You want to save the people that you love? Use that gun on yourself. Evie could drop Great to die. Go uh, ahead and die. No. Drink iced tea, play video games, whatever. This is horrible. I'm absolutely amazed, but... Oh, yeah, this is this. <sighs> this show, I'm absolutely done. I'm absolutely amazed with how that episode just panned out, like, like how it was structured, but it was just horrific emotionally. I mean, Evie is a bitch. So is that creep in the glasses. Uh, I'm absolutely, nah, I can't, I can't. This episode just infuriated me and, you know, made me feel sad at the same time and it was just absolutely, you know, shocking to watch, especially since, you know, we found out that, you know, I guess Evie, um, wants to cast, um, Susan aside and, you know, basically create a more realistic, and uh, you know, Neo Lucian, um, for herself, she thinks this whole clone situation is not happening, and uh, she she wants to see the leaders gone. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, we even saw that in the flashbacks. She, uh, you know, suggested she said that you know her no Beth's knowledge will be the end of everyone she knows and loves. So. Yeah, she she was, I and, and and that makes you know Beth's death a bit more you know it makes you hate the neolutionists even further, especially with them encouraging you know death for Beth because that's the thing she Beth wanted to protect her sisters, and with you know those words with that you know threat. It's influenced her, okay, it would be better if I, I mean, she had a lot of demons anyways, with the drugs anyways, but, you know, this was the final straw, and, you know, she, you saw that breakdown in episode two after that scene where she beat down Evie, so that's where the blood came from, but, yeah, it was absolutely horrific to watch, and it was a nice plan, of course, you know, get the bot out, um... You know, we'll have the samples, of course, that will be able to fix the leaders. It was... Yes! Okay, like, this is what I was saying, though, earlier in the episode. The Neolution dynamic, Susan and everything, it's a bit complex because this plan... Okay, I, I think it's beneficial. But 
you know, they're, they're still doing a lot of, you know, shady stuff, especially the Brightborn uh, thing, but I guess that's Evie's, you know, direction, whereas Susan uh, has a more expansive uh, operation uh, operation with the evolution, but I'm, I'm guessing she wants to, you know, step aside from that and, I guess, help out the rest of the leaders. Now, um, I mean, th this would, I mean, yes, it would be what Evie wants, but... Um, she knows that there are, you know, people working against her, so there's no other choice but to side with the leaders, I guess, in this situation, especially since, you know, everything got screwed up. And <sighs> Sarah, going in recklessly once again, because she destroyed the samples because she just jumped to the conclusion that, you know, the kidnapping of Kendall was all down to Susan, but Susan was none the, none the wiser. This, you know, this was all going to plan. You know, get the samples, the bot out, everything is rosy, okay, according to her. But it's, of course, got more complicated with the kidnapping, um, which, you know, was uh, initially thought to be Era. And you could see that in a sense, but I think, I think the problem is, though, Era is too, you know, kind-hearted and soft in there. And can be emotionally punched, I guess. I mean, you saw, I think that Odin thing was the fact that, you know, there was that discussion. Well, we'll save the leaders, but the casters can wither because the, it's, it's not that Ira is a terrible person. I think Sarah, I mean, Sarah does have, of course, bad memories with the, with the, um, with the casters, of course. Understandable. But it's the fact that they are a weapon. If used properly, and that in the wrong hands could spell doom. So we don't want a repeat of Cody's situation where you know she you know reveled off this experimentation, and we don't want that happening again. So it's best to let these experiments die, I guess, in order to you know save um, females from being, I guess, infected. Um, but yeah, it was just a real, it was powerful, it was powerful. Not just, you know, um, going into what happened in episode two, uh, in terms of Beth's flashbacks, because we saw her leave Paul's, come back at Paul's in a right state, and we saw that fleshed out, of course. You know, she was ready to execute Susan, but, you know, so, that's the thing, Susan's cries... They were completely genuine, she wanted to help out, and that's the thing, you could see that, um... Because the thing is, the, the leaders are, you know, her children at the end of the day. They were her and Ethan's children. And even though she's got that less, you know, she has less sympathy, I guess, involving science, she still has emotion. And, and that is to the leaders. And she wants to help her out. And there are two different sides to this, as we've explored with this episode, that, you know, there's Susan, who is wanting to help out any, you know, uh, situation, any deficit, I guess, that people are facing. Um, e like I said, there's that less empathy, but it brings out results, I guess. Uh, there's, there's, well, there's that less sympathy, of course. Yeah, it brings out, you know, better results in her eyes. Um, it's still wrong, like the whole, uh, like some of the things, but, you know, like I said, better results, like, at the end of the day. And she is, of course, lesser two evils compared to Evie and all those people who are like, yay, let's overthrow Susan and all that shit, so. Um, whereas they want to get rid of the clones. They don't care about the leaders. They need to die in their eyes. Uh, but Susan wants to help, you know, them out and, you know, fix them up. But, yeah, it was just absolutely <sighs> emotional, especially Cosima, uh, like, you know, after witnessing, well, she didn't witness it, but she... Of course, Kendall had to die, um, and they get burnt alive. Of course, no more, you know, samples, let the leaders perish. I'm wondering what's going to happen there, because it would have been great if um, Sarah didn't destroy the samples, but here we are. This is the thing, though. Sarah doesn't, you know, think things, uh, think things through. She just goes... She's just Leroy Jenkins' as shit, like, let's be fair, but... Um, yeah, you just wonder what's going to happen now. Like, there has to be some kind of miracle. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, yeah, it was, like I said, it was just um, really, really gu um, gutting to see Cosima's reaction, especially the, at the Delphine news. 
uh, because she didn't even know about what happened to her. She was just MIA, and now she's got the uh, um, information that she didn't want to hear, so it was just really, really... I don't believe it, though, that she's dead, to be fair. Because, A, we didn't see the body, we just saw her getting shot, we didn't see her... But it was a kill shot. But, you know, anything can happen in this show, so... Um, and plus, it's been mentioned prominently by Crystal. So, I do feel that maybe um, Delphine survived and all that. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I don't believe she's dead, though. Um, but we'll just... Have, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, because it, it kind of teased you that mysterious ending. Will she live or will she die? And considering the fact that Crystal is bringing her up... I mean... I say prominently, she's only brought it up two times, but um, I think the second time was, you know, uh, a little reminder to the fans, oh, you know, we had a character called Delphi, if you remember her, uh, she wanted to help the um, the leaders out, but there was a, she had a bit of a complex character with her, of course, so just reminding you. Um, but yeah, it was still heartbreaking to see her, you know, it was heartbreaking during that scene, because she had to have uh, the original perish and be told that. So, whereas, you know, the heartless um, Neolutians, the heartless um, side of Evie, they didn't, they didn't bat an eye. Just let her cry. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the crystal scene was absolutely great as well. I just love art. Like, art just didn't have a freaking clue. Like, I think that was... I think we needed that to level things out a bit, didn't we? Like, considering how, um, you know, emotional that episode got, especially towards the end. I think we needed that. Like, the pepper spray to Felix. Poor Felix, but here we are. Uh, can I just say, I know uh, Titania and... Uh, um, I think it's Jordan, isn't it? Yeah, they... Um, you know, they do interact commonly anyways, because Sarah and Felix. But I don't know. There's just something about... It's so funny. And it's, and I guess it just shows how, you know, great Titania is. Like, I don't know. It just feels like Felix and Crystal have a fresh, you know, um, relationship. Like a, like a bit more of a... I don't know. It sticks out further, but you just, you know, love it. I don't know. It, it feels really, really... Um, beautiful for some reason, uh, like, their relationship. Of course, you saw Felix, um, you know, of course, last season, Comfort Crystal, and here we are again, of course, with, um, this whole, uh, with, with this episode. So, uh, it was, I don't know, it was just, it was just really, really warming and endearing, so I just really loved their, you know, kind of, like, relationship, but like I said, them do, do, you know, it's, it's a basis for them anyways, but, like I said, it's the incredible acting of the show, so I just really, really loved it. But yeah, this was powerful. Powerful stuff. What's going to happen with the leaders now that everything, like their worlds come crashing down, we'll just have to wait and see. But that was really, really rough stuff. And fuck Evie. All you can say, isn't it? But yes, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check out my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my Media Pizza channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!